It's locker time, but it's a Warriors Gold State Warriors, and it does appear to be signed by number two. Oh, I literally just saw this right now. We are finding good stuff in the back. Did not think I would. And this, this is another laptop right here. What other goodies we got in this box right here? Another really good thing I just found is this right here. That's got a call from Jana. I just had to throw it all back in here. <laughs> Something came up. Had to pick a, a new addition to the family up. Check it, check it out. Oh yeah. This thing, this thing will pull just about anything. What the heck? That is really different. I can't really say that I'm loving this locker. Sometimes it's really expensive. But look what's on the ground right here. Look at how cool that is. It's really quiet too. I did go talk to the manager and I uh, got confirmed. This was actually owned by another storage buyer. Kind of awkward. I actually know the guy. What's up, locker nuts? What you doing today? Just hanging out? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, at a facility. Just kidding, I'm not just hanging out. I'm jazzed, I'm here, I'm ready. It's locker time. I think we're gonna find a million dollars in this locker, perhaps. Just kidding, just kidding. This is not, this is not that. This is not that kind of a locker. It's been a kind of a, well, eh, mm. It's not been great. Let's just put it that way. It's not been great up until the last episode where we found that wrap vinyl collection. That was pretty good, but otherwise, this locker's been kind of a bust. I, I have to say, it's been kind of a bust, but I have to clean it out. I have to come back. We have to do some more digging. That's what we're doing today, but I think first we're going to be going to the dump and the recycle. So let's get to it. is okay i did come actually and take a few bins out these right here uh that were stacked right here mm -mm, that's decent stuff all these bins right now are stuff we already processed and it looks a little better uh and i took some out because there was yarn in them and i wanted to put the yarn in our live auction which was a couple nights ago so uh yeah 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 not that much to go through here guys not that much more so <laughs> she's really hardly anything to go through but a lot to get rid of. So like I said, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I'm hoping to get enough garbage out that I can uh, get into the furniture, maybe pull it out and display it and take some pictures, try to put it on a Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and let it go for free. Cause that's better than take it to the dump. And I'm certainly not dragging in an hour to the market because with gas prices right now and how much room on the trailer a furniture takes up, just to get 25 or 50 bucks for it, eh, that is not the smart play. We gotta get rid of a better way. Giving away for free is fine with me. Ooh. I I just rhymed. All right, I've been working here for a little bit. I definitely made some progress. One thing I decided to do, I'm tired of working around that big stack of boxes or bringing them out, bringing them in. I just decided to take that back to my place. Uh, that was all the stuff we already went through and the good stuff, so I took that back to my place, made another trip, but uh, yeah, it needed to be done anyways. It was actually almost a full truckload. Here's what we got looking in here. I've cleaned it up a bit, and I learned something really interesting about this locker. I'll tell you in a sec. On top of these couches right here was a whole bunch of moving blankets, and every time I found one, I just kind of added it to the stack. I folded those up. Check it out. There's a ton of them and there's another one and another one and another one There's still more in here, but there's a ton of moving blankets So I don't know why I didn't add this up earlier But uh, I was like wow the last time I had that many moving blankets is when I bought at the clutter auction Clutter's a moving and storage company and we got a bunch of blankets uh, and then it's like uh, clutter uh, clutter <laughs> That's just two of the boxes. We found more clutter boxes than that. Uh, those have already gone to the dump or whatever. So a lot of clutter boxes, a lot of blankets. Yeah, so anyways, here's the scoop. I did go talk to the manager and uh, got confirmed. This was actually owned by another storage buyer and kind of awkward, kind of awkward. I actually know the guy. <laughs> Yeah, and actually he might even be watching these videos if you are. I hope there's no hard feelings. I'm sure I'll see you at the auctions at some point because I actually met him at the clutter auction. Uh, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, a little awkward. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but um, yeah. He didn't really lose too much good stuff in this locker. The rap albums and a couple few pieces are decent. Really, I saved him a trip to the dump. But um, anyways, I, apparently he's fallen on some hard times and couldn't pay for the locker did want to pay for the locker but uh if you're watching this i'll tell you i think i did you a favor because <laughs> yeah 
this is this is not worth it i mean it's worth a dollar but it's not worth a month's rent really uh for the stuff i'm seeing in here it's just not enough stuff and not enough good stuff so anyways a couple things i did find this was interesting it's got some scratches here this is underneath all the blankets i actually just found this but it's a warriors gold state warriors and it does appear to be signed by number two so i don't remember who that is but uh yeah it's just too bad it's got a scratch right there otherwise that might be something, uh, uh, you know, some potential. Oh, I literally just saw this right now. Because you saw where it was. There was a blanket over that up till just a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it's got some weight. We did find an Xbox One controller in this locker. This might be the box for it. But it would be nice if there's another one in here. It would be nice if there's another one. There's not. Okay. It does say Elite Series 2. So that's like a decent find. That makes the front seat. <laughs> The good stuff, the box is not really good stuff, but if I can pair it up, then it's then it's good. So I did pull a blanket off the top of this, and then looking in here, I see some decent stuff in here. Here's a Black & Decker saw, variable speed jigsaw. Yep, it's in there, that's a good. Some vacuum bags here. This, I see this Hilti right here. That's interesting, what is that? That's just a drill? A TE2, okay this concrete right here i think it's a concrete drill unless it's some sort of a jackhammer oh my goodness it does have a hammer right there if that's what this is um i think i've got some bits for it i might just keep it <laughs> whoa i think i see a laptop hang on hang on <laughs> hang on there's a dell oh my goodness there might be what the heck? We're, we are finding good stuff in the back. Did not think I would. I really didn't. That's a decent little Dell right here. The screen is not cracked up. Somebody is concerned about their privacy right there. They didn't want the camera on. Okay. Inspiring. M531R-5535. It's got some paint or goop on it right there, but that's not bad, guys. That's not bad. And here's a power cord. I'm going to assume it goes with it, probably. Oh, it's an HP. I don't know. There's three power cords. Please, I hope one of them works. That's an HP, but it still might work. This, this is another laptop right here. A gateway. Oh, whoa, look at the lid on that. Okay, the screen doesn't look cracked up either. It's got an Obama sticker on it. That definitely is a sign that maybe it's a little bit older. Maybe. It could be. It feels like an older computer anyways, but not bad condition. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. What other goodies we got in this box right here? This is this has turned out okay. Sheets. Either sheets or fabric. I'm not sure what. D-Link. Something. Well, electronic device. Some hair stuff. Yeah, it's just some bolts. Alright, that's it. Huh. There's another stinking dresser back there. Oh, what's this? It's heavy. I'll have to dig myself in this corner in a second. I'm not going to lift it. Hang on. Okay, I got those two chairs off of here. And this what's below. It's... Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? I thought those were going to be like lights, but those are some sort of a speaker right there. I think they're computer speakers, maybe? I don't know. Huh. Momo Chroma by Razer. That's interesting. They feel like they could be decent quality, like a little bit more expensive, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna put them aside so we can look them up. We got this too, and a little bit more metal right here. The couch, though. What do I do with this couch? It does have a modern look to it. It's not bad. I could see that fitting into, you know, some young couple's place where they're trying to get a modern look. But the side is uh, it's not great. Uh, probably that could be cleaned up though. Cut the loose threads off there, maybe? I don't know. Looks like they had a cat. Another really good thing I just found is this right here. That's the other leg to the lift desk. And that's what this is right here. I've got that one leg, but I'm like, there's got to be another leg. And there it was. And here is the tabletop. These are really, really heavy, but they're really cool. And this one's got power on top. Uh, there's a little switch right there. 
pretty cool right if you're not familiar this is those desks that automatically raise and lower i bought a unit once for this exact reason like i saw it in there and i'm like oh yeah i'm buying it they can be worth some money and i think the one i had i sold for a couple hundred bucks if it works that's going to be the test if it works they do malfunction so i might have to drag this home and test it because i can't do it here and behind it i don't remember if we showed this before i saw this last time but we haven't got it out yet it's a dynex and tv right there all right guys i was just in the middle of this thing feeling good making progress got a call from jana i just had to throw it all back in here something came up something uh exciting something important i'll update you in just a sec hold on because i gotta go all right guys well that took me a little bit longer than i expected I had to pick a, a new addition to the family up check it check it out oh yeah oh my goodness look at this thing it is a beast this is uh yeah look at this duramax 6.6 .6 liter gmc truck why locker nuts why why did you need this oh my goodness well for one look at the bed on this compared to my honda pickup massive massive bed more importantly it tows 18,000 pounds the honda pickup for a comparison tows 4500 pounds a little bit different a little bit different but uh that's really the reason i wanted a bigger truck but why did i have to run out today and get one well we met with our accountant last week and our business year end for our business because i have an incorporation is march 31st which is in eight days we're looking at paying some taxes this year all right because it was a good year um but if we went out and got a car then we could qualify it bought it in the business name we can qualify it for a tax write-off with the incorporation tax rate at 35 percent which includes federal and state uh that means that basically a pure tax write-off means that 35 percent of the purchase is going to give you a tax savings so it's like the government putting in 35 cents for every 65 cents we put into a purchase and made sense right now even if i wasn't fully ready to buy a truck but this is the truck i wanted gmc denali that's the one i had I researched uh there's lots of good options out there the ford's beautiful the ram dodge is beautiful and the toyota tundra is a really interesting looking truck just doesn't tow enough for me but this one <laughs> is my favorite uh looks wise i think it's the best looking truck out there we've owned the denali before years and years ago we had a denali like the suburban size and we did like that truck uh or you know suburban suv whatever we loved it it was a great driving car very very comfortable on long trips especially and uh yeah that made me comfortable getting another denali so so there's our new baby yep added this earlier this month and now this um and if you guys notice we don't have the honda here uh we still got Jana's acura the honda's not here that's just because i could only drive one car home all right so i gotta go back in the morning and get the honda because uh we're not ready to sell that yet either it looks like maybe grace is gonna buy the honda from us we'll see we'll see but she wants it interior is pretty comfortable the back seat has room for three full-size adults, meaning six foot three. That's what they said. Adult size six three will fit comfortably, three of them. So definitely enough for our two girls. Okay, I'm trying not to bang Jana's car here. Still getting used to it. This is, uh, yeah, beautiful interior, very comfortable, very, very luxurious. That's the Denali model. Oh boy, is this thing big. Much bigger than I'm used to. Even bigger than the Mercedes. The Mercedes is taller, but this thing is bigger. It's definitely bigger. Longer and wider. When I'm driving on the road, it feels like I'm wider than the lane, but I know I'm not. Uh, it's just going to take some getting used to. But this thing, guys, this is this is the plan. I feel like I've outgrown my trailer. It's been a fantastic trailer. $1,100 for that trailer. Best investment I ever made in the business, quite frankly. Best $1,100 I ever spent. It's made me multiples of that back. But it's an open bed trailer. And a 6x10, there's only so much you can fit in there. So I need an enclosed. I need a bigger trailer. The pickup, the Honda, just wouldn't pull a big enough trailer for me which is why i've held off on buying one this thing this thing will pull just about anything just about anything so really really excited and um yeah it's time to level up it's time for the next step in this business i'm excited i am excited all right what's up locker nuts all right we're back all right got pulled away and that was fun but you can see i don't have the new truck with me i still got this truck with me why because well <laughs> 
It's a little silly, but I don't want to get the new truck dirty. I know, I know, it's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get dirty. Okay, well, let's look at what we got here. This is where we left it. Yeah, it looks terrible. And actually, I didn't come, this has been two days. I didn't come back yesterday because I had some other stuff to do. I had some stuff that I needed to prepare. And, oh, there's my Gatorade. Dang it, I left it here last time. Um, yeah. Whew, okay. The other dresser I brought home, I listed for free. And, boom, it was gone so fast. I had, like, probably 30 people message me. It encourages me that giving it away for free is a good way to get rid of stuff. And, uh... I know that's not going to be getting rid of. See the stains coming down the front of the recliner there. This is going to be a tough sell. Any uh, soft fabric is hard, but these do have a modern look. This is probably going to be pretty easy. These, I really have no clue on. I'm going to get these out and take a look at them. And maybe that's what I'm going to work on right now. Um, this, unfortunately, now that we're in this thing, there's no uh, drawers for that. That's really a bummer. Really, 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 really a bummer. All right, well, anyways, uh, I got to get, I got to get pulling stuff out here and uh, come up with the game plan. As you know, I always do come up with the game plan as we move. Sometimes it changes, but the only thing I got to do is work. Okay, there's a few things on the shelves there. Some tools right here. I grabbed those and check this out. This is kind of cool. That's some Mac tools right there. And those are pretty nice. Got the little spring action. I mean, it's Mac tools. You wouldn't really expect too much less than that. And a nice some vice grips there. Coast, I don't think this is an especially very expensive flashlight, but it looks like it's pretty nice. And it's got two different buttons on there. We'll get some new batteries in there and see what it does, but those are some keepers. That's going to be a flea market. Okay, this was also up there. <laughs> I know it says this side up, but this side's almost coming apart. I don't want that to be in my bottom. Uh, ooh, that's interesting packing material there. Check that out. Looks like a bunch of Swiss cheese. What the heck? That is really different really different an electrical core and motor wow it looks expensive what is that for looks brand new part number one three seven zero four three zero oh man that looks expensive but i don't know you know we're gonna put that aside we'll look it up i'll put it in the car and actually this I'm going to take home. I'll reuse that packing. If you buy something from our live auctions, there's a chance you might get that in your package. Because I like to reuse uh, packing supplies. Okay, well, that's it for there. There's no more mystery. There's that router or whatever. Uh, over here, we got a little bit of mystery. What's this? Parts assembly. AGM 7536950. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It's a door for something, a lid or a door, D inverter, direct drive motor. It's got a pretty heavy duty rubber gasket on here. I don't think that's cheap. It just doesn't feel cheap. I don't know how it's coming across in the camera, but it does not feel cheap. I'm going to take that home too and we'll look that up. That is something somewhat valuable. We'll list it on eBay and sell it, I guess. And there's a bunch of bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack is weird. Jack gets more excited about the bubble wrap. Maybe because I actually buy bubble wrap, so that's like real cash savings for me. As minuscule as that is, it all adds up. Oh, I see right now. Look at this. This is all stained up right here. Okay, so I was gonna see if I could shave off all the lint and loose threads. This is stained up. This is this is not gonna sell, guys. I'm I'm just being realistic with you. This is not going to sell, and even by sell, sell, I mean give away for free, right? So I still want to see what's in here. Okay, TX A650 stereo cassette deck. It's a the corner broke right there, but that looks pretty heavy duty, and it's heavy. And it ain't no duty. <laughs> uh, see what I did there? That can't go straight to the market. That's going to need to be looked up. That's a bummer, but... Uh, yeah, that could be a little bit of money. Tape deck's not really that uh, as valuable as like a turntable or an amplifier or a tuner. In my experience, what we found, we're usually disappointed with the values, but still got to look that up. Still, still, still. And a couple... Look at this. Brand new jeans. Brand new jeans. And at the bottom, we got some, whoa, 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 look at that. Oh my goodness, look at those boots. That is pretty funny. Dashiella, it says Dashiella. 
There's some other boots too. My, my. Yeah, those are gross. Oh, but there's a pair, so we'll bring them to the market. I don't think they'll sell. What's this? 20 bucks. Some kind of sweater. Okay, that was a little bit of mystery left in this locker. We're getting down to the end of it though. This looks like an air filter or something. Uh, but look at the <laughs> so gross. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want that filtering in, in my air. There's another ballast for the grow lamps, and it looks like another com uh, not uh, cable box. Cable box. Okay, a couple nightstands here. These we could probably give away. These will probably go for free. And last chance for romance, I think. I think. I think. Oh, and that's the action figure, Spider Gwen. We had another one that was Spider Gwen too. And there we go, Spider Gwen. That's a surprise, actually. The one of the last things we find is one of the coolest things we find. Ah, nice. She's got a, a replaceable head and a replaceable arm. Or no, you just put her arm on, I guess. Snap fit, it says. Marvel Now by Koto Bukia. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Right, that's going in the front seat. It made the front seat. Congratulations, Gwen. Nicely done. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure if I did show this on camera because I just found it in the back of the locker. I thought I had already pulled it out brought it home. Way, way wrong because here it is. I think actually I found this when I was just grabbing the stuff for the dump. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Let me put it aside and show it later. And I don't think I ever did. So there's another Spider Gwen. It looks like it's got the arm again off of it. I guess that's how they come. Huh, interesting. All right, a couple of Spider Gwen. Someone was a fan. All right, quick update. I just took a load in the truck to the metal recycling. There's that table and some chairs back there. And those are mostly metals, a couple electronics and stuff. So I took the truck to the metal and dropped that. And then I grabbed my trailer uh, because I'm going to need that. There's going to be enough junk in here. There'll be a couple trips to the dump. So I thought it'd be easier with the trailer. Plus, Dolly makes it nice up the ramp. I just listed these couches for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Sale meaning free. I just put them for free. Uh, they're pretty nice. I've been getting a ton of responses on it, and I said, don't message me till you're ready now. Of course, every single one is, is this available? Is this available? The only one guy said, I'm ready now. Is this ready? And I said, yeah, here's the address. Text me when you get here. So, uh, so we'll see if he shows up to grab him. I hope he does, because uh, I would really, really like to be done with this unit today. We'll see. I can't really say that I'm loving this locker. Nope, can't say it. Okay, things are looking different very, very quickly. There's the trailer. It's not even near full. But this piece right here, oh man, I was about to load it because I'm like, okay, there's no drawers. I tell you though, I'm really torn on this. I just feel like if I gave it away for free, someone could build new drawers. And I know that seems a little silly, but this is a true mid-century piece. And I thought this was split right here, but it wasn't. It just was, uh, it needed to be tightened, which I did. It tightened and it closed the gap there. There is a little chip right there, but that's that's not a big deal. It's actually in really good shape, uh, besides not having drawers. Uh, I think right here I see like a little bit of chips on the veneer here, but that's not a big deal for a mid-century piece. So I've got it on its side. I'm still waiting to do, I'm waiting to decide what I'm going to do with that. But the couch is right here. I moved that. Bingo. What do we got here? Check it out. Another huge box. It's Continental Appliance. So it's another appliance part. LG, okay, service part. We could sell that stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's really expensive. But look what's on the ground right here. <laughs> That's another Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Uh, it's all scratched up on the front, I think. It's just dust or dirt. It's not a big deal, but I think there's a little bit of scuffs on there. Hmm, too bad. It's a little Funko Pop. Uh, Funko Pop head. Spider Gwen. Someone definitely was a fan of Spider Gwen. All right, now these pieces here, we're not getting rid of those uh, yet. We're going to probably put those on Facebook Marketplace because those have that mid-century look that everyone's after. This piece right here, I got to get it uncovered, and uh, I need to get that gone because someone will take that for free. It's, it's pretty nice besides the fact that it looks like a puppy to the corners. I haven't heard from this guy. What a doofus. So what am I going to do with that? I'm probably going to have to drag it back in here and wait and contact the next person because I'm getting tons of replies on it. And of course, this power table right here, I gotta, I gotta test that, I guess. Eesh. All right, well, anyways, we're getting closer, getting closer. Back there's all the keep stuff. We're not keeping the nightstands, but I can bring those home, put them up for free, and they'll be gone super quick. I don't want to dump them. 
Okay, this is kind of cool. So I got this desk out, all right? I'm gonna do in the last load right now. And um, I'm gonna take this home and see if it works, but this is an uplift desk. Check out all the power that it's run. A couple power cords, really thick, juicy power cords too. It's got wires going everywhere. Um, I kind of like that. Um, yeah, I'll try it out. I think this is a really nice little desk. All right, there goes the, uh, there goes one of the couches right there in that little pink car. <laughs> Okay, guys, check this out. I got the table all set up. I screwed the legs onto it. It actually uh, rained last night and this morning. You see there's still some dark clouds, but we're out of the rain forecast, so I decided to pull this out. What I did is I threw it in the back of my van. The van's like a mobile storage unit. I don't have that much room in the garage, so I just put it in there and pulled it out a few minutes ago and set it up. I had to screw the legs on. It did not work. I plugged it in back here didn't work it had an e07 code on there so i just went to the website uplift and uh it told me what to do troubleshoot it basically hold that down for 30 seconds the down button it reset itself so check this out oh that's awesome look at how cool that is it's really quiet too and oh let's see how high it goes oh my goodness that's high okay <laughs> that's that's a standing desk that's a little too high for me Maybe for Shaquille O'Neal's workspace or something, that should be good, but not for me. So let's bring that down a little bit. So neat. It looks like it's got some memory buttons there too, so you can get it in the, the position that you want. You can memorize it. Looks like they put an extra power strip on there. It's like probably the, oh, that is an uplift desk power strip. I take it back. I was going to say, I think the previous owner did that themselves, but it's got like a lot of power running through here, little extensions. You got power here. Um, hmm. You got this braided cord, which is nice. Keep it all organized. Long cord, so if you raise it up, it extends with it. So my desk is a complete train wreck, uh, and it has been for a very long time. But this is my workspace, and I like it because it has so much space. This is out of my old office. Um, I actually picked this desk up for a hundred bucks. One nice thing about it, it's got um, storage. You know, it's got some storage cabinets below it, and like I said, it has a lot of counter space. But I do want a standing desk because I don't like sitting all the time. Oh boy, I'm looking at this though. So it's I don't know if I can give up all this for the space that that provides. I do have a table here, but this is a straight table which works as, for my space out here. So I don't really know, guys. I'm gonna have to think about that. I do want to keep it. It's a thousand dollar table. I'll put on the screen right now the comp on it. I got some thinking to do. Right now, these are a thousand dollars, and uh, that model is a thousand dollars, and you can't get them till May. So right now, it's end of March. So it's a couple month delay in shipping or um, getting your your desk, even if you ordered it. So it'd probably be able to sell that for two hundred bucks, I'd say. Easy, easy 200 bucks. What am I saying? Yeah, maybe even three or 400 bucks. Just depends. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this locker, this video series, it's done. Well, I mean, I'm actually not done with the locker because we still have stuff to sell. I've got some stuff that didn't make it to that first trip at the flea market. That's gotta go to the market and get sold. I've got stuff on eBay still. I have like one of the strategy books, uh, the video game strategy books and the appliance parts. I've listed a few items out of there. I actually sold one already. I sold that one of those strategy books. I forget, I'll show it on the screen so you can see what I sold it for. Um, those really neat wood shelves that were up top. I listed those for a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Boom, gone so fast. So that was probably a little bit cheap. And really I should have brought those to the antique vintage market, but it just comes down to space. We've had some rain, intermittent rain. And that means that I can't store stuff on the side of the house without covering it uh, with a tarp. So space is limited. Let me just put it that way. So big items go quick, go cheap. I need to move them fast. And that's what I did, but I think I may be price them a little bit too low because uh they were gone so fast and so many replies on it too but it's all right it's all good i gave away most of the furniture so the fact that i got some money for some furniture i'm really happy bit about but we've sold about nine hundred dollars so far we sold none of the albums those we're going to take out to a vintage market and sell them because uh, the condition was just much rougher than we first thought um you know in that dark locker so the easy e still is probably the treasure the best thing we found in that whole unit but 
the whole record collection, not the thousand dollars that I first uh, estimated. If if it were um, in the condition that we hoped, that collection would have been well over a thousand dollars. So the whole collection probably has a value around a few hundred dollars, but still that Easy E album that is significant because of the rarity. I don't know, but I'm gonna hold on to that one right now. Um, we'll just see what happens. Sometimes buyers emerge on these items, but I'm not letting that one go for cheap but we do have a lot more to sell. So we've already sold 900 bucks. When all the dust settles, we'll probably come out about 1,500 to 2,000 in profit. That's my estimation in this locker. So not too bad, not too shabby, but it was a lot of work and there's a lot of junk. And that is the story of most lockers. But next episode, we're getting back. We, meaning me, are getting, well, and you too, but uh, we're going to the train locker, going back to the train locker for a nice full day of digging and we find some great stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to putting that video out and I hope you guys are looking forward to watching it. All right, that'll happen soon enough. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' It. All right, I love these caterpillars, really. This is still, like I said, it's just so fun. But this right here is the money, you guys. Oh, I know what this is too. Classic mint. I don't remember what this one's worth, but I'm thinking at least four to five hundred bucks on this it's, you can see I'm not gonna take it out we found these before maybe even this exact same one it's a little flat